so I'm a scientist and an entrepreneur. I run a biotech company. And so I usually look at the world under the microscope and not a regular one, an electron microscope, which means that we look at things that are in a billionth of a meter, in the nanometer. And if you come with me to that world, then we look at viruses. And so I work with viruses. We use them to fight cancer. But um, viruses are really dangerous. Um, if we look at 1980, a flu virus, H19N1, um, infected 500 million people, killed 50 million people. And that can happen. Of course, it's not always negative, because I think that in biotech and in life sciences, we've improved so much, and we have three, won three amazing battles against viruses. So when I graduated from college, people were dying from HIV. They're no longer dying from HIV. So we won the HIV battle, amazing. We've won the HPV battle. So right now we have a vaccine that prevents cancer, and it's caused by a virus. And the third one, which is very recent, is that we won the hepatitis C. So we have a cure for hepatitis C. Amazing how humanity is fighting viruses. But of course, everyone is looking at Ebola, right? And so is Ebola a threat? And should, be con should we be concerned? And so I think that we should, because one of the things that I see happening is that diseases that were usually domestic and problems that were usually domestic are now being global very quickly. And so the boundaries between domestic and global are being lost. So we really need to pay attention to those viruses and diseases that affect people that cannot really afford for innovation, because although it is a very small problem, it can become our problem very, very fast. Thanks.